Why freezing preserves food. This will completely blow your mind about freezing. It's not just turn it into ice. It's a sophisticated preservation strategy that halts microbial growth, enzymatic decay, and chemical reactions by transforming water into solid crystals and fundamentally altering food biochemistry. Everyone thinks cold stops bacteria, but here's what's truly wild. Freezing at 18 degrees Celsius reduces microbial metabolic rates to essentially zero, with psychrotrophs unable to grow below. 5 degrees Celsius, and enzymatic reactions slowed by 90-95%, making frozen perishables safe for months to years without microbial spoilage. Here's the mind-blowing part. As water freezes, it forms extracellular ice first, increasing solute concentration in the unfrozen liquid phase. This creates an osmotic shock that dehydrates microbial cells, rupturing membranes and inactivating both pathogens and spoilage organisms long before the core temperature even reaches. 18 degrees Celsius. Think about this incredible process. Freezing reduces water activity, a underscore W, from tilde 0.98 in fresh foods to 0 0.20, 0.30 in the frozen matrix, creating an inhospitable environment where residual unfrozen water is chemically bound, preventing microbial proliferation and drastically slowing Maillard and lipid oxidation reactions. But here's where it gets absolutely insane. Ice crystal formation physically disrupts cellular structures. Slow freezing, one degree Celsius per minute, produces large crystals that rupture plant and animal cell walls, causing drip loss and textural damage, while flash freezing, 0.5 degrees Celsius per minute, yields microcrystals that preserve cellular integrity and nutrients with minimal quality loss. And here's what's truly wild about enzymatic activity. Enzymes like polyphenol oxidase and pectinases retain residual activity at 5 degrees Celsius, causing slow browning and softening over time. Only at 30 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius are these enzymes fully inactivated which is why ultra-low freezing is used for premium frozen foods and biological samples. The most incredible part? Glass transition occurs as concentrated solutes and water form an amorphous matrix below. 20 degrees Celsius, effectively locking molecules in place. This vitrification prevents molecular mobility required for chemical reactions, ensuring frozen foods retain flavor, color, and nutritional value far longer than refrigerated ones. Mind blown? Drop a emoji if you never realized that freezing is not just put in the freezer. It's a multifaceted preservation system leveraging osmotic shock, ice crystal physics, reducing